जय जवान इद्रिस हासन लतीफ Indian Air Force chief who chose India over Pakistan and a great strategic genius a planning maverick and an Indian Air Force hero former chief of air staff air chief marshal Idris Hasan Latif who spun the offer to join Pakistan Air Force after partition and rose to be the South chief breathed his last at the ripe old age of 94 on 30th of April 2018 in Hyderabad Air Chief Marshal Latif was appointed as the Chief of Air Staff on 31 August 1978 and he remained in saddle till 1981 when he retired. He subsequently served as the Indian Ambassador to France and the Governor of Maharashtra. The official website of Indian Air Force states that when partition brought about the division of the Indian Armed Forces Latif as a Muslim officer was faced with the choice of joining both India or Pakistan quote even though both Ashkar as well as Noor Khan called him up to persuade Latif to join them in the fledgling Pakistan Air Force Latif made it clear that for him religion and country were not interlinked It was no surprise that uh, Latif his way to become the first Muslim chief of our staff of Indian Air Force unquote the Indian Air Force website states Air Marshal Ashkar Khan later rose to become the chief of our staff of Pakistan Air Force Idris Hasan Latif was born in Hyderabad on 9th June 1923 to a well-known Slimani Bora family. He attended the prestigious Nizam College and applied to join the Indian Air Force as soon as he turned 17 and a half years old, the earliest age permitted. Selected in 1941, he went through initial flying training at Bigam Bet and was commissioned in Royal Indian Air Force on 26th January 1942. On completion of his training at Amala, he was posted to the number no. two coastal defense flight in Karachi, where he flew vintage biplane aircrafts like the Wapiti, Odexes, and Hots on anti-submarine flights over the Arabian Sea. During 1943-44 he was one of the few Indian pilots to be seconded to the Royal Air Force in the United Kingdom there he underwent training one more contemporary aircraft like the Hurricane and Spitfire with the operational squadrons of the RAF he returned to India in 1944 and took part in the Burma campaign flying the Hawker Hurricane for number no. 3 squadron this involved flying interdiction sorties against ground targets after the campaign latif was posted to madras but soon he joined number no. 9 squadron in burma again flying the hawker hurricane in june 1946 latif was part of an indian contingent which participated in a huge victory parade in london after the war latif on promotion to the squadron leader became the commanding officer of number no. 4 orials flying the hawker tempest he led the first fly over new delhi after india turned a republic in 1950 In 1951 the decorated air force chief married Bilkis the daughter of Nawab Ali Jawad Jang she stood by his side for 66 years till she passed away in 2017 India fought a war in 1965 against Pakistan Latif who had by then been promoted to air commander was the first air defense commander for the Eastern Theater his combat experience saw him appointed to the new post of assistant chief of air staff plans during the 1971 Indo-Pakistan war during which he carried out the honorous task of making his first line assessment of front line combat squadrons and the modernization plans of the air force his role as a air chief marshal pc large emissary during the indian air force operations in the eastern theater saw him decorated with the param vishesh seva medal in 1974 the indian air force website also mentions that as a chief of air staff latif was involved fully in the re-equipment and modernization plans of the air force 
he was instrumental in seeking government approval for the procurement of the Jaguar strike aircraft a proposal which was lying dormant for over eight years. He also held negotiations with the Russians and saw the induction of the MiG-23 and later the MiG-25 aircraft into the Indian Air Force. One of the last acts before retirement was to fly in the trisonic MiG-25, which was then just assembled from a semi-knockdown condition by the Air Force personnel. Only in 1988 did the former Air Chief Marshal retire and return to Hyderabad with his wife where they worked for social causes. The legendary Idris Hassan Latif is remembered by it all as a great strategic genius, a planning maverick and an Indian Air Force hero. Jai Hind!